Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. So for a change of pace, I'm back with another installation video. Today I'll be installing brake caliper studs on my car. So I will begin to track my car and these brake caliper studs will help tremendously when replacing brake pads and rotors once I start doing so. Caliperfection is the first company I chose to work with and they did provide me these studs in order to install and showcase to you guys. Other companies have reached out, but if it's a product that doesn't really fall within the vision I have for my build or just it's a product that's not relevant or it just doesn't really make sense for my viewers and their cars, then it really doesn't make sense working with them. So they did send me two variants the stainless steel and the manganese. These are the two options that Cali Perfection sells. I'm going to be installing the stainless steel just because I prefer the finish of this compared to the charcoal kind of darkish manganese finish. I did speak to them and both options do sell pretty evenly. It all just depends on what finish you prefer. Unfortunately, these are only for GT350s and they do sell quite a bit. They actually worked with Ford Performance and provided all of the studs for all the GC350s that they have in the track attack in Utah. And they actually did work with ARP and MSI Racing to help develop these studs. So that's pretty cool. But with that being said, let's get the jacks under the car and get these installed. All right guys, so the car is up and I will be starting on the right front wheel. And then I just wanted to show you the packaging. This is the packaging in which the brake caliper studs come in. Comes pretty well packaged and it comes with everything that you'll need in it. Let's go ahead and open this. So these are the studs, comes with the washers and the nuts. And these pre they, they feel pretty heavy, some good quality weight to them. So now, let's go ahead and remove this wheel, remove the old studs, and get these installed. All right, so now the wheel is off and I place this light here i just tied it to the spring so i can have a light for where i work and it looks like i went mudding but i swear i didn't i need to get to cleaning this so what you'll need is a large ratchet and a t60 socket and there's going to be two bolts that are going to be removed the first one is this one and the second one is this one right here.
So now the caliper is off and I set it aside. I actually had to use a breaker bar just because the length of this ratchet didn't provide me enough torque to remove the studs, but now they're off. Now the next step is to clean these holes in the knuckle. Right here, one, and the second one. Now I did uh, remove the caliper before when I installed my lowering springs. So you need to clean them just because they might have a thread locker in them. So I don't think mine will have much just because I did remove the caliper before. But if you haven't removed the caliper, then yours will probably have more. So now I'm going to clean them and show you how I do that. All right guys, so just got done cleaning the knuckles. What I used was a Dremel with a cotton tip and I just used it to clean inside. Then I went in with the air compressor and I noticed the first time that some particles started flying out and I didn't have my safety glasses so I went back and got them. But if you don't have a Dremel, what you can use is just the factory stud and just brush out the ends of the thread and then just stick it in and then thread it back out, brush it off again, and then thread it back in, and then just repeat the process, and you can clean it that way as well. Then after that, just make sure to blow out the holes in the knuckle just so you can remove any thread locker or any particles that might be in there. All right, so I'm going to be starting with the top one first. So this is a stud. I need to remove this nut and washer that it comes with, and then use these two nuts that they provided just so I can thread the stud inside the knuckle. But first, I need to apply some thread locker to this part, and they provide you some thread locker, and then some lubrication to this middle part, which is right here, it comes in the same packaging. So let's get started. So I have both studs installed. Do note that once you're threading it in, it has to go in smoothly. If you have to force it in, then you probably have thread locker residue left that you probably have to clean. And also note that it'll require around five pounds of torque or so, but once you're threading it in, it will bottom out. Once it does, then you'll be able to remove the nuts. You'll want the piece that's sticking out to measure three and seven sixteenths of an inch plus or minus one sixteenth of an inch. I used the caliper, no pun intended, to measure this. There you go. So now we just need to loop the ends of the studs and slide the caliper back in. So I put the washer and the 12 point nut provided back in. And as I mentioned, I also lubricated the ends of the studs. So since I lubricated it, I torqued it to 80 pounds of torque. You can lubricate it or not. It all depends. All this is provided in the instructions. If you don't lubricate it, then you'll have to torque it to a different spec. But that's it with the right side. Now I'm going to power through the left.
These are sleeves, these are optional or you can get them as part of the kit. These go threaded over the studs that we just installed and the whole point of these is so you can just slide the caliper over and you don't have to drop it just how I had to drop it right now that I was installing these studs. Once you have the caliper slid all the way, then you can easily go in there and just work on replacing your rotors and replacing your brake pads. Then once you're done, you can just slide the caliper over and you never have to drop it. So this makes life so much easier. I already have one of them installed, the bottom one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top one and demonstrate how you can just slide the caliper and then just slide it right back in once you're done. So that was it. The install was easy and pretty straightforward. All you have to do is read over and follow the instructions. Not a lot of tools are required. I'll list all of the ones that I use down in the description below. I'm really excited I got these installed because once I need to work on my rotors and pads, it'll make things a whole lot easier. And I want to give Patty from Cali Perfection a huge thanks. She is the owner of the company and I'm grateful I got to work with them and showcase a product that truly benefits any GT350 owner. Plus, I think it's really cool that she got to work with Ford Racing School and got these studs installed on their cars. I cannot wait to be there next year. So you can get these brake caliper studs at caliperfection.net. I'll link all of the information in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.